Today, YouTube, I'm going to be showing you my number one foolproof way to finding your printer's IP address and mapping it every single time without an issue. First, what I'm going to do is remove my printer completely from my computer, close out of here. What I want you to first do on your side, if you're running Windows 8, you're going to have to locate at the top right hand side of your screen, find the search option, and type in command prompt. But if you're running Windows 7 or Windows 10, you simply click on the start button at the very bottom left hand side of your screen and type in CMD and then hit the enter key. Command prompt will now load. The first thing I'm going to want you to type in here and spare a little bit of my privacy, I'm going to move this up, is IP config. Go ahead and look that over real quick if you didn't hear me correctly and then hit the enter key. Now, generally, the first section that loads up after you type in IP config, it'll say Ethernet adapter local area connection. Under this section, I want you to locate down to what says IPv4 address. Again, that's your IPv4. After the series of dots here, you're going to find a small set of numbers. For me, it's 10.0.0.8. No, it is more than likely not going to be the same for you, but whatever that series of numbers is, I want you to remember it because we're going to be utilizing that into the next portion here. So after you have this number, go ahead and scroll back down to your next command prompt line and what you're going to type in now is PING space and then followed by the number for me it's 10.0.08 again that's ping space followed by your number and then hit the enter key our computer is now locking onto this IP address to make sure that it is corresponding with us correctly after it is locked on and your command prompt line appears again to type in you're going to simply type ARP space dash A go ahead and look that over and then hit the enter key. Now everything that this IPv4 address is utilizing is now going to load. However, our printer is a, a dynamic device. Blah, blah, blah. So for me, I only have three different dynamic settings running. Now I want you to load whatever internet browser you normally use. For me it's Firefox and what I'm going to have you type in here is all three of these sets of numbers just like our IPv4 address so 10.0.0.1 is the first one. I'm going to copy that, open up two more tabs, and I'm going to type in all three of them here. So it's 0.3, and again, you could have 10 of these. So the point is, is finding where our printer settings are. So we're going to start with 0.1 here. That's our Comcast portal. It's definitely not that. We're going to start go next to 0.3. While that one loads, I'm going to hit enter on 0.7 doesn't even matter what point three loads to because 10.0.0.7 for me which is right here on our dynamic devices is the back end network settings for our printer now if you've never been in the section of your printer this actually tells you everything that your printer has to offer including the black cartridge ink or how much toner I have in right now so if you get these problem loading pages on any of the other ones it is definitely not your printer but now that we have this IP address locked in and we know what IP address my printer is here or your printer I should say what we're going to do now is go back to the command prompt and what you're going to type in here is control space printers go ahead and look that over real quick and then hit the enter key now this looks familiar. This is where we are going to be mapping our printer. Now, if you don't see add a printer up here, you can just right click on the background and then go to add a printer that way. Now, it might take a second or two for it to load up. I know my computer doesn't like to load my printer settings, but once it loads up any day now, there we go, you're going to see here two different options generally. And I know a lot of people will say, oh, well, you can just go to add a network where it's a blue printer and it'll just find it for you. Well, it doesn't always work simply that way. Again, this is my foolproof way of doing it. So you're going to click on add a local printer. You're going to go to create a new port, select that option, click on the drop down menu, and you're going to go to standard TCP dash IP port and then hit the next button. Now, Again, we know what our IP address for our printer is now. For me, it's 10.0.7. For you, it could be a completely different number. It could be like 192, 10 point, 1000 point, a million. It doesn't matter. We know what the number is. So we're going to simply type that in 10.0.0.7. And again, you're not typing in the same number as me. And yes, that nine is here, right here to create a new port because I've had to redo this video nine times now. So now that we have that typed in, we're simply going to click the next button. Now, there could be a million different things that load for you. If it doesn't automatically detect this driver for you, then you're going to have to find the driver in your computer or browse the web for it. 
I'd be happy to answer any questions if you have them below. Go ahead and post them. But we already have the driver for this computer, and it's recommending for us to install this one. So I'm simply going to go ahead and click Next here. We already know what the name of the printer is. You can name it whatever you want. And then hit the Next key. It will now install your printer. I generally don't share the printer, and I click. The, you can if you use multiple devices, though. So if you use multiple devices for the printer, go ahead and share it, and then click the next button. Now I'm going to go ahead and print a quick test page. Make sure that it works correctly, and boom, test page is printing. I'm simply going to go ahead and click finish, close out of here, and now my printer is successfully installed on my computer and there are no issues. If you enjoyed this video, if it helps you out at all, go ahead and hit that subscribe key, hit the like button. I love my subscribers, I love my viewers, and if you guys have any questions below, I'd be more than happy to answer them in my best timely manner, mind you. Thank you again for watching. Have a wonderful night or day.